Uh, hello everyone, I hope you have a nice day. Today we're gonna to discuss this sagittal section for head and neck, showing the brain and pharynx and cervical vertebrae. Mainly we'll discuss the pharynx. Uh, the pharynx is composed uh, from three parts. This part which is called nasopharynx, and this part called oropharynx, and the third part which is called laryngeopharynx. We're gonna to start from the uh, nasopharynx. Uh, here we have this external opening of the nasal cavity, which is called nostril. Uh, after we enter into the nasal cavity, we will have three elevations. This is three elevation called uh, superior and middle and inferior nasal concave. Between this elevation, there is a meatus, which is called superior and middle and inferior nasal meatus. If we're going to move posteriorly, we will uh, see this opening, which is called pharyngeotympanic opening or a uh, stachian tube uh, around them there is a tubal elevation mm. here we have uh, the pharyngeal tonsil pharyngeal tonsil which is an important structure for the immune system if we're gonna to downward uh, from, and uh, we're gonna to discuss uh, the oral cavity uh, here we have the muscles uh, which surround the uh, lips which is called uh, orbicularis oris and here we have the lips which cover the orbicularis oris muscle and uh, if you ask it why uh, the lips remain pink and red uh, that's because it's highly vascular and thin skin after we enter the oral cavity posterior to the lips we're gonna to have this opening this open called uh, vestibule which is a cavity between the teeth and the lips called vestibule okay after that, <coughs> we will gonna to enter to the oral cavity. This is called oral cavity proper. Oral cavity proper. Oral cavity proper com uh, composed from the uh, roof and the floor and uh, other walls. The roof of uh, the oral, uh, the roof of the oral cavity composed mainly from hard palate and soft palate. The hard palate composed from two bones. Uh, this which is called. Uh, palatine process of maxilla and uh, this one which is called horizontal plate of the palatine bone while here we have the soft palate which is composed from, from muscle and soft tissue now in the floor of uh, the oral cavity proper we uh, the floor is composed mainly from the tongue and mylohyoid and genohyoid muscle we're going to dis discuss the tongue <coughs> the tongue have uh, two type of muscle which is called intrinsic muscle and extrinsic muscle <coughs> for the intrinsic muscle we will start we have two muscles this one this one which is called superior longitudinal muscle of the tongue and this one which is called inferior longitudinal muscle of the tongue between them there is a fiber which is called vertical muscle okay superior longitudinal muscle of the tongue and inferior longitudinal muscle of the tongue if we're gonna to discuss the extrinsic muscle of the tongue, we have four muscles styloglossus, palatoglossus, genoglossus, or hyoglossus. In this uh, anatomy module, we have only this muscle which is called genoglossus. This muscle called genoglossus. This is the boundaries of this muscle, genoglossus. Genoglossus. This is the boundaries of this muscle. Okay. <clears throat> so we will repeat the intrinsic muscle of the tongue, superior longitudinal muscle inferior longitudinal muscle and between them there is uh, vertical fibers uh, and extrinsic muscle of the tongue we have four muscles but in this anatomy module we have only one which is called genoglossus muscle this is genoglossus muscle inferior to genoglossus muscle uh, we have the other muscle which is called genohyoid genohyoid this muscle called genohyoid this is the boundaries of this muscle Please pay attention for the boundaries of this muscle because there is a muscle inferior to it which is called mylohyoid. This is the mylohyoid muscle. This is the mylohyoid. Okay, we're gonna to repeat it. Genoglossus, genohyoid, well, this one is called my, mylohyoid. From inferior, we, gonna, uh, we can see the fibers of mylohyoid muscle. This is the fiber of mylohyoid muscle. While this is uh, the anterior belly of digastric muscle, please don't mix between them. This the mylohyoid muscle and this the anterior belly of digastric muscle. Okay.
after that we're going to complete the other structure of the oral cavity uh, here we have the lingual tonsil which uh, uh, lies behind the tongue superior to the lingual tonsil we have this uh, structure which is called foramen cecum okay uh, that's all, uh, all the things that are related to the tongue here uh, we have the hyoid bone which is uh, labeled at uh, number 65 okay posterior to the uh, to the oral cavity we're going, going to have another tonsil which is called palatine tonsil and this is very important structure okay uh, so don't uh, forget the three tonsils lingual tonsil palatine tonsil and here pharyngeal tonsil okay in the front of palatine tonsil there is a fold which is called palatoglossus fold and give origin to palatoglossus muscle and uh, posterior to the palatine tonsil, we have another fold which is called palatopharyngeal fold. Okay, uh, that's all about oral cavity. You can repeat the video more than one time and uh, write what you uh, hearing in uh, a paper. And I have, uh, I hope you have a nice day. Now for the pharyngeal uh, laryngeal pharynx. Okay, for the laryngeal pharynx, we will gonna to discuss it in another uh, video. So I hope you have a nice day, and see you in the next lecture. Thank you.